Okay, so uh, we're ready to crush uh, some sand and what we do is I just open up the front door on the carver press. This is the sand crush cylinder and piston assembly. Place that carefully. Move it, uh, move it up into the center. Okay, here's the gauge, which actually reads out in uh, pounds force. So we have to do a conversion to get PSI inside the cylinder. So we're using the dimensions of the cylinder uh, to make sure that we're that we're crushing it uh, accurately. Um, this gets closed. I have a note here um, showing us what pressure we're going to ramp up to and do our hold. So the crush test, uh, we go up at uh, 2,000 pounds, uh, 2,000 PSI, I have to keep my units straight here, 2,000 PSI per minute and do a two-minute hold at the target stress. So in this case, we're going up to... Um, 4,000 PSI, which is four, we call it a 4K. So uh, pounds, uh, we're going up to a 12, 570 uh, pounds. Uh, don't exceed 12,800 pounds. And so we're ramping up 2,000 PSI per minute, and we're holding for two minutes um, at the 4,000 PSI level. And you just raise the cylinder and increase the pressure by uh, basically jacking it uh, over time and reading out in pounds force on the gauge here. And uh, now here is something uh, I'm not going to actually show you how I accurately ramp up and hold the pressure because we've got a, something that's uh, a little bit what I would call proprietary in the lab here to help us accurately uh, raise the pressure manually and hold it. Um, it's a secret that I uh, only share with our clients. So uh, I'm not going to show you the process of me uh, jacking up the pressure. It's actually kind of boring too. So uh, I'm going to stop here and then when, uh, when we resume, uh, I'll be uh, taking the crushed cylinder out and the test will be complete and then we'll uh, we'll sieve the sand down. So I'm going to crush this. I'm going to crush this right now and I'll be back with you in a second. Okay. Just finished crushing uh, at uh, 4,000 psi. Uh, that sample, which is a 2040 sand sample, uh, just crushed her. And so now what we're going to do is just uh, take the uh, cylinder, take the cylinder out. I'm going to set it down, and then I'll show you the next uh, section here. So just remove it. It's already been crushed. Yeah, it looks the same right now, right? Okay, set that down, and I'll reposition the camera so we can see better. Okay, so we finished crushing. There is our crush cylinder and our piston, just still exactly the same way we pulled it out of the uh, Carver hydraulic press. And sitting next to that, I have a stack of sieves. So, we are testing, or we just crushed, 2040 sized sand. And so what we have is a sieve stack made up of uh, a, uh, I don't know if you can, it will focus or not. That is a 20 sieve on top, then a 40 mesh sieve in the middle, and a pan on the bottom. So what I've done is I have, let me rotate this so you can, I don't know if the light will focus a little better. Um, what I've done is, there we go, 20 on top, 40 and then a pan. So we've weighed, we've weighed the pan and recorded its mass prior to doing this sieve. And we're going to take the contents of the crushed cylinder, which is our crushed 2040 sand sample, and pour it in the top and shake it for 10 minutes. Now, 
Whatever comes out in the pan is what we're interested in. How much crushed down so that it was smaller than a 40 size sieve and ended up in the pan. And we're going to record that mass and figure out what percentage uh, crushed into fines at 4,000 PSI. Okay, uh, so we're just going to pour this into here. Uh, remove the piston carefully, carefully, and then I hold it over my pan. Again, we're getting every single particle of sand that we can into the pan here, or into the uh, sieve stack. Okay, so I'm just basically brushing off all the little dust and particles. Okay, there's the piston, clean. Here's our cylinder. Really hard to kind of tell what happened in there, but it did, uh, it did get crushed. So I carefully pour it in the top. And now I brush to get every speck out of here into the sieve stack. And this can take a little bit of time. Okay, so we have the sand right there, ready to go into the sieve shaker. Um, let me show you, let's see if we can, there we go, sweet. There is our Rotap trustworthy sieve shaker. Open this up, okay, this goes in the top. Okay, we tighten the tray. This goes in the, uh, on top of the sieve stack. It's got a cork there so that the tapper taps it. Drop that on top. Drop the tapper down. I usually give it one more nice uh, uh, tighten turn. And we set for 10 minutes and start it.